welcome back to my channel. For this video, we're gonna be doing the one shadow eyeshadow look. This is my go-to way of doing a glam look, but you're in a hurry or you're running late or you just don't feel like doing a smoky eye or cut crease. This is the easiest way to get that beautiful glam look just by using one eyeshadow. If you wanna know how I got this easy breezy lemon squeezy look then keep on watching all right let's go ahead and get started um don't mind all this cat hair on me my lint roller is actually downstairs and i'm too lazy to go get it so for my lids i'm gonna go ahead and prime them i'm not priming them with tart shape tape oh my god i'm actually gonna be um using this little sample that i got um this is her get a grip i've actually been really liking this primer um i received this in my boxy charm it came with the festival palette um inside the packaging um so i actually ended up really liking this um so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this i still have some left so i'm just gonna stick my brush in here we're just gonna apply like we usually do it kind of has like a little bit of a tacky residue, um, so it's kind of sticky, um, which I think that is why the eyeshadow looks so good and it also makes it really vibrant. Now we're going to be going into the eyeshadow and this is the palette that I'm going to be using, the Daisy Marquez, and we're going to be using that bright yellow shade. Um, it is called Flower. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up. Now remember, that is the only shade we are using for this look. So first you want to get a fluffy brush, whatever you're going to use for the crease. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Tap. Super easy. And you just want to keep doing this and build it. Now this brush was already yellow because I used it the last time that I did this look. So I was like, I'm going to use the same brushes that I used for the look because it already has yellow on it. Why not? Look at that. I love this palette. All of the shades are so vibrant. Wow, she's pigmented. Look at that. I absolutely love this yellow. It is my favorite yellow out of all of my palettes. Now for the lids, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my favorite brush. Um, this is the Morphe M167. You guys know this is my favorite brush to pack on color with. And I'm gonna be spraying it with the Morphe setting spray. And then I like to just pat it like on my hand uh, just to make sure that it's not soaking wet. Um, and then we're going to go in with that yellow color again and pack it on the lid. Just pack it right on top. Then I'm going to go back in and take that same brush we used for the crease and we're going to just blend it even more. Just making sure everything is nice and soft now i'm just going to take a wipe and i'm just going to clean up underneath the eyes now you guys know that i like to wait to apply my under eye um, eyeshadow until i'm done with my concealer and baking so i'm going to go ahead and move on and just go ahead and put some eyeliner on and then the lashes um, before we move on to the face, I'm going to be using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And this, I'm just going to put a very, very small, um, thin line. And I'm not going to add a wing. I just want to put put something there um, to kind of camouflage the um, lash band. And for the lashes, we're going to be using these Double Ups 207s. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my lashes on. Now I did 
end up doing a wing because I started putting on the liner and I meant to do like a really, really fine, thin line. Actually, what I did was I messed up a little bit, so I ended up having to make it thicker. And then from there, it just got thicker and I was like, you know what? Wing it is because when I brought it out to the end, having it be that thick, it just looked really, really weird, like cut off. Um, so I ended up just winging it out and it's been a minute since I've done a wing. I wasn't going to go this direction, but I actually like the way it looks. Um, it's still simple and cute. Um, and these lashes again are from Ardell. They are the double ups. Um, this is in the number 207. I'm really liking this style. We're gonna go ahead and go into um, finishing off with the face. Um, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me today. I'm gonna be mixing these two shades, 220 and 228. Um, I've been mixing these two just to get a little bit more of a warmer color. But if I use the 228 by itself, it's a little too dark. Um, so that's why I end up mixing it. I've actually been trying out this new product mixed in with my foundation and I have been loving it so far. This is the Catrice Cosmetics. I think that's how you pronounce it. Light Correcting Serum Primer and this is in the shade Sunlight. So it has like this golden color and it is so beautiful. It really makes my foundation look nice and glowy, but it also doesn't make it too dewy or um what's the word oily so i really like that it still keeps the foundation matte so i'm going to be mixing all these together and blending it on my face with the beauty blender i already primed um so we don't have to do that Now we're going to conceal and bake these under eyes. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in the shade Light Medium Sand. Now for baking, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. We're going to be picking up this banana shade right here. And I'm just going to make sure there's no creases. Now it's time to add color to our bottom lash line. I'm gonna pick up that yellow, of course, and we're gonna go ahead and just add that. And that's all we're gonna be adding to the bottom. Now we're just going to wipe away this powder. Now I'm going to go in with my Bare Minerals Bare Pro um, Powder Foundation. I'm going to go ahead and set the face with this. Now to bronze up the face, I'm going to be using this Hula Benefit. For blush, I'm picking up the Morphe palette, the blush trio in the shade Pop of Coral. I'm going to be picking up this light shade. This is in the shade Boss. Now before I highlight, I'm going to go ahead and spray the Morphe setting spray. For highlights, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Hustle and Glow. Y'all know this is my favorite at the moment. It 
If you're coming up, can you bring me the lint roller? Can you bring me the lint roller? Now I'm gonna add some right in the corners. Now I'm gonna spray it one last time with the Morphe setting spray. Now it's time for the lips. I'm gonna be using the Jante Blue Lip Liner in the shade Nude. And then for the lip, we're gonna be using Morphe. This is in the shade Version. This is their matte liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the lip. Oh, and last, we're gonna mascara the bottom lashes. Don't forget to do that, because I almost did. This is the finished look. I hope you guys all enjoyed this super simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy uh, makeup look. Seriously, um, every time that I want a simple look, I, this is like my go-to way of doing a glam look super fast and easy. I usually just take like my bronzer or any just plain color, plain matte color and just put it on all over the eyes. You seriously can do this with any color. So yeah, that is it for this look. I hope you beauties really enjoyed it. Make sure to give me a big thumbs up before you leave and don't forget to push that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel channel and until next time i will see you all in my next video bye beauties